Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 8th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at world weather and space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that's affecting humanity. And right now we're looking at a very quiet sun for the last 48 hours, incoming images that large plasma filament erecting and just kind of hanging out in limbo erected above the sun looking at outgoing images here and that little glitch there is a calibration in the SDO salad satellite having a quick look here at the incoming sunspot region and as well the plasma filament small CME to report in the outgoing position Right there, you can see that on the blue. And looking here, 511 angstroms. No major coronal holes earth facing. And not much space weather affecting us either. Our KP index is back down. Looking here, Alaska 2, Alaska 3, you can see that small ejection from the right hand side there. The CME. Right there, nothing major. And it's outgoing. But still, amazing images looking at pieces of the Milky Way just flying by in the distance. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Solar Dynamics Observatory. And thank you for watching. Having a look here at our real time solar wind as we are going down at 401 kilometers per second right now. KP index as well going down. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 1111. That's right, 1111 power, quality of 9.5 and an amplitude of 11. Looking here, the last 24 hours for earthquakes, most recent in the Dominican Republic, 3.9 in Yuma, Dominican Republic. As well, a 3.5 was reported there earlier today. 4.5 here reported in Mexico. 4.5, 149 kilometer depth. 2.9 there, Smiley, Texas. 2.5 in Oklahoma. And as well, White City seeing a 3.2. And then California, yeah, you've seen some action today. And this is a bit worrisome. 3.7 there in California, Southern California around the Salton Sea and as well Ridgecrest seeing a 3.6 today and the summit in Utah as well 3.0 Mina Nevada with a couple shakers Stanley Idaho 2.5 and then north here to Alberta Elkford Canada and that's a 2.8 that is a quarry region so most likely a quarry blast overlooking Alaska, as they did see an uptick in seismicity as expected. They saw a 5.5 this morning, did send out a small tsunami watch, but no tsunami was imminent. But a 5.5, 74 kilometer depth, and that's just east of Mount McKinley where all this action has been. As well, 4.2 here reported Atka, Alaska. Fern Forest, Hawaii, seeing a 3.0. Kermadec, 4.6 here. 10 kilometer depth, 5.2, 254 kilometer depth there. And then our deepest earthquake today in Gorontolo, Indonesia, a 5.0 at a 551 kilometer depth. As well in Indonesia, earthquake here, 
4.4 Indian plate and one lonely Greece earthquake to report here in Europe 4.2 and one lonely 4.3 here in Peru as well South America so that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes and with the earthquake in Canada it kind of makes me wonder what else is happening across Canada for earthquakes right now so let's just have a quick look at Earthquakes Canada and yes most recently today they did report a 2.0 here in La Riviera seismic zone Quebec City Charlevoix Charlevoix and we're just going to give a quick look here across the country this is the last 30 days for earthquakes all the orange are the most recent that's right two there northern Alberta Fox Creek Alberta and as well Grand Cache both reported April 5th so two days ago and we're starting to see more action now here in Alberta have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes and yeah we're seeing a lot of deep earthquakes through South America up into Alaska kind of quiet through Cascades of course has been too quiet looking at deep earthquakes Philippines and Indonesia things quieting down in the Kermadec but yes stay aware and prepared stay frosty my American friends and Canadian friends it's just way too quiet in the Cascades right now and we'll hop over to the Pacific Disaster Center I'm just showing you the satellite imagery of the weather systems right now and a big weather system over the United States sending flood conditions across southeastern and central and as well daily evaporation rains coastal regions Peru continue to inundate the regions so flooding Colombia and Peru the United States as well southeastern Australia seeing some flooding and then of course we've got this situation with the cyclone Sajora, who is looks like it's joining forces there but uh, here in this forecast it looks like it's crisscrossing it's showing a crisscross but I'm sure they have formed and the forecast is showing heading straight across the southwestern part of the continent so yes tropical cyclone Saroja is the name and they literally left this thing left a path of destruction through Indonesia many people displaced massive flooding conditions across the country let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to get updated Dokono, Reventador, Sange and of course La Sufri, St. Vincent where they elevated the alert level today as there were some toxic and gaseous fumes coming out and they've seen some volcanic tectonic earthquakes as well in the region so other we've got about 11 volcanoes most of them are regular except for Saint Fru, uh, La Soufri as a subscriber would say in the live stream La Soufle it looks like it's going to pop anytime now so let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Weather is changing and spring is nowhere near, especially across most of Western Canada, starting out here in Calgary, Alberta, as we do have a low pressure system coming in from Northern BC yet again, and high pressure ridge building behind it is going to fuel down some very cold temperatures behind so in the long range forecast we're still looking at some winter like temperatures and then across Ontario watch for this large low that is still developing across the United States it's going to bring tons of moisture across the Great Lakes region and as well lots of snow and cold temperatures behind this snow this sorry this low pressure system 
So watch for parts of Alaska and BC down into Vancouver. Watch for coastal snowfall at higher elevations and heavy rains. And then that's going to move eastward and join forces with another low. So all these lows are joining forces yet again. And I mean, look at the Atlantic Ocean. That is a beast of a low pressure system. I've never seen one so big. And just the, the, the rapid development of these systems, the intertropical convergence, the the path of the storms is just what is nuts. Overlooking Europe, we still have, you guys still have that big low pressure system affecting you. And in the long range forecast, it looks like one of them is going to spawn off here into Russia. Could have some very blizzard like conditions there. As well, watch for a line of moisture here through Turkey. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you this week, except for coastal daily evaporation rains through Mozambique. Overlooking Southeast Asia, could have a pretty big and drenching system moving into the Koreas and then into Japan in the long range forecast, but still no cyclones or, or typhoon or sorry, no typhoons to talk about in the West Pacific. Overlooking Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and the end of Fiji, still looking at a lot of rain through the region, atmospheric river of moisture. And then looking at Cyclone Saroja path here, you can see it's going to run straight across the southwestern tip of the continent. So heads up, my southwestern Australian friends, you do have a cyclone on your doorstep. Saroja is on its way to you. And then overlooking at New Zealand, you've got about four or five days of rain heading towards you, low pressure system line. Overlooking Hawaii, no major weather systems affecting you. And last but not least, we're looking over South America. Daily evaporation rains continue heavy towards the uh, Colombia and as well Peru. But then watch as this system spawns out of the Argentina-Brazil border. Pretty intense low pressure system that came out of there. Interesting forecast to say the least. Much love to y'all. I appreciate you joining the family. Hitting that like button. Hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an update. Leave you here looking at the major systems in our major Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Much love to y'all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.